All right, Shalom so Malkin. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Mechakadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well, who have told us this truth to the Spirit and Power Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, and honors and citations to the elect document. Doing these works in sincerity and truth. So I'm entitled this lesson, man. We're currently in the proving grounds, man. All right, and there's, there's brothers been saying it. There's been, I mean, there are different phases of this truth, okay. And it's so complex, you could even have multiple phases going on at one time, man. And one of the phases that we are most certainly in right now is the proving ground phase. Okay, <laughs> all right. The proving grounds, and honestly, it's all it's 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 for all of the uh, the nation of Israel. And guess what? It's even for for Edomites because this is um Isaiah twenty six and ten. So right now we're in the proving ground phase, man, for all of Israel. And also even for Esau on another, you know, on another, uh, um, another ballpark. Because this is uh, Isaiah 26 and 10. Let favor be showed to the wicked. Because favor is being showed to him right now. He has, he rules the earth right now, man. What are you going to do with it? Okay. So, it says, yet will he not learn righteousness? In a land of uprightness, will he deal unjustly? He has, he's in the land of uprightness, man. You know, he's in the land where Yahweh Shai eyes are always at. The land of Israel. The, uh, um, you know, where life began, man. Jerusalem is the motherland of us all. The motherland. So he's in that land right now. It says, in the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. See? So favor is being shown to you and you're proving that you're the wicked. You're proving that that's talking about you. Man, this is this is another scripture to go right alongside with Malachi 1 and 4, to go right alongside with Job 9 and 24. All right. Um, what's that? Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. When the wicked shall be revealed. And, and yet again, Isaiah 26 and 10. How is favor being shown unto you? You you rule the whole earth right now, man. You can do as you please. But do the wicked. You you will not learn righteousness, man. And you're in the land of uprightness, uprightness, which is uh, Jerusalem, you know, but you recognize the people before it's a place. And guess what? You're still dealing unjustly there. You got the gate, Pink City, Tel Aviv, you know. I've read a news article a while back. It was a, a, a woman. She, um, she pretty much heard her dog. She was into bestiality, man. Her dog was like her freaking boyfriend. And she took her dog there for a honeymoon. All right, to the land of Israel. So that goes to show, man, that you are the wicked. So you're proving in your and you're proving ground that you can you can't do right, you can't get right. But anyway, you know what this lesson is really about is for the Israelites, man. You know, we are in a proving ground, man. Us Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Asians, every single one of you. All right, this is um every single one of us, man. This is second address nine. And I'm gonna go right to the point um verse verses um eleven. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, that's what this liberty is ultimately about. <laughs> this liberty is really about the, uh, the proving ground, man. Okay, so the place for specific exper experimentation or testing. See, this is an experiment. This whole captivity, this whole America, you know, we've been brought here for the curses, as it even says in Baruch. The Lord sold us to our enemies, not for our destruction. All right. Look at that. Baruch 3 and 8. No, I'm sorry, that's not it. That's a good scripture too. Baruch 4 and 6. You were sold to the nations 
not for your destruction, but because you move the most high to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. All right. And now here we are under the curses, you know. But we're also here to prove. To prove, man. See how Bash Mashai. Alright. That 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 we are we are of him, man. That we are his. Okay. Cause um matter of fact, I'm gonna jump over to Luke chapter um eighteen verses eight. It says I tell you that he will avenge him speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? See? So this is this is the proving ground to prove what? To prove um who's who's the elect? Who's the chosen of Yahabash Mashai, man? Who's who's really down for Yahabash Mashai, man? You know, who really believes? Who really who's really, you know, on one accord with the Lord, man? All right, who's really the Lord's family? Because you know what? That reminds me of um Mark seven and six. He answered and said unto them, Well hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, <laughs> as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. See? So this is the proving ground to prove whose heart is really with the Lord, you know. Whose heart, man? Whose mind, whose spirit, you know, is really with the Lord, man. We're proving that. And it's the proving ground to prove, you know, who has the patience, you know, who has patience and faith and long suffering in Yahweh Shemesha as well. You know, so I said, many are called, but few are chosen. But it was ultimately all, uh, um, you know, set from the very beginning anyway, man. All right. But we just have to what we have to live through. it. The curses is already set. You know, the R5 prophecies, the prophecies are already set. We just have to live through them, man. So this is. um, Yeah, and that's, a, that's a nice definition, man. So if I can read it again, it's, it's a place for scientific experimentation or testing. All right, so right, this is all of a, a, an experiment. All right, to experiment, to experiment and test whose heart is really with you. How about Shemashai, man? You know, because their their lips, their lips are with you. How about Shemashai? Their lips are with the Lord, but their heart is far from them, man. They want to do their own thing. Nah, fuck that. We don't want to do our own thing. We want to do Yahweh about Shemashai's thing, man. We want to follow His ways. For better or for worse, which guess what? There's no worse, all right. And the reason why I said for, for better or for worse, because you got guys like polite that said, uh, "Now that we know this, now that we know that this is how you know God gets down." My only question is, why are we still following Him? See, because we follow Him for better and for worse. And guess what? It is gonna get tough. We're gonna get demonized. You know, we're gonna get persecuted, but nonetheless. You know, who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai, man? Okay. And number two, a place where something is developed or tried out. So guess what? Earth, America, this captivity up under Esau, all right, is the place where our faith is, is being tried out, man. You know, go back to what Yahweh Shai said. When the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith on the earth? You know, the proving grounds. Prove your faith, man. Prove, prove that that your heart is with you. How about Shema Shai? You know, this is the proving grounds in the land full of distractions. Esau trying to, uh, um, what do you call it, um, fear monger, in the land where Esau trying to fear monger, in the land where it's so easy to do wickedness. Hey, we still have to prove that. Nah, we following How about Shema Shai? Because um, Revelations. Revelation chapter 14 verse 4 says These are they which were not defiled with women for they are virgins right the proven grounds man virgins meaning what we're of a sound mind 
all right we didn't uh, um defile ourselves with esau's philosophies man okay we didn't celebrate all these different bullshit holidays that esau has to offer you know we didn't follow esau's ways that he has to offer no man we followed the harabash masha we didn't follow none of his doctrines man nope it says these are they which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth these were redeemed from among men being the first fruits unto the most high and to the lamb see so and when you when we follow how Bashmashah wherever he goes that's how you know that our heart is really with him man meaning our mind okay so our minds with the Lord man you know And that's what we have to prove. You know. That's what we have to prove, man. So prove it. You prove by what? Through your works. Through your works. Through your faith. Through your prayer. Through your fasting. Making prayers. Through your studying. These are all ways to uh, um, test positive in the proving ground, man. All right. Because this is on um, Matthew chapter 12, verse 50, it says, I'll start at verse 48. I'll start at verse 47, 46. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him, unto him that told him, who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. You know what? It's family, man. Fit verse 50. For whosoever, for whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same as my brother and sister and mother. See that? So this is what we're what we're proving, man. You know, that we're worried how about my child's family. Okay? You know, this is what we're proving out here, man. And we prove it through our works. Through, you know, I wish I said it best. Through doing the will of the Heavenly Father, man. What's the will of the Heavenly Father? To go out there in the highways and byways, compel them that they may come in. You know, to prophesy the downfall of this place. So they that are doing that, in season and out of season, sincerity and truth, they're the true family of, 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 of Yahweh Shai. All right, and that's and that's what it's all about right now, man. You know, going through this proving ground, so to speak. So this is um, and and, and you know, being on fire, man. You know, for this truth. Is is you killing it in the proving grounds, man? Like oh, you know he's definitely of you how well shies flock, man. That's why you want to be on fire, because again, again the definition number two, a place where something is developed or tried out. And another example was was what the army, you got some called the proving grounds in our army, you know. Matter of fact, an example here says more than two hundred people witnessed the teams compete. Across the 32 obstacle proving ground, see? <laughs> Vincent T. Davis, ExpressNews.com. Airmen, soldiers, and sailors competed in San Antonio against each other in the second annual Alpha Warrior in-service battle. See? But right, man. They went through this whole obstacle course. And you can look at somebody and say, damn, you know? He's doing a good job, man. I think he's definitely going to be able to make it through. All right, the, the, the proof is in the pudding, man. Hey, Yahweh Shai also said he shall know them by their fruits. You know, but you want to burn yourself out and, and so forth, man. So this is um, Isaiah 48 and 10. It says, Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. See, again, once again, proving grounds. You know, when you go through that furnace, when you put in gold and silver through that furnace, you're testing it to see if it's real. 
right? Well, this is what this American captivity is all about, man. You know? You know not what it's all about, but it's a factor of what it's about. Because it's also about for us going through these curses for going off. But it's also about the proving grounds now. Who is your Harubashim and Shai's real family? You know? You got a lot of people saying that they with them. But but they doing bullshit, man. All right. So that furnace of affliction is the is the proving grounds, man. Which is pretty much America, man. On the whole, because this is, you know, well, 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 Slack and not America, but this whole world, well, this whole earth, because Job nine twenty four, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. All right, being up under Esau is the damn proving grounds right now to see who's truly of your how about Shemal Shai, man. You know, so I'm gonna give one more scripture and, and, and end it off. No, this is the proving grounds right now, man. You know? And look, man. We gotta do a good job now. Because you don't wanna be unproven during Jacob's struggle because ultimately now it's gonna come down to where you're gonna have to prove you know you're gonna have to prove that 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 you're of the Lord through through death, man. You know? You didn't prove it. You didn't prove it enough to the Lord while liberty was open. You know? You didn't prove it enough. Just speculating, you know? Because Second Peter 1 and 10 says, Give true diligence. Give true diligence to make your calling and election sure. So if you want to be more so sure, all right? Give diligence, man. But if you don't give enough diligence... You know, the proving ground could be, you know, that you got to get put to death for this thing, you know. But even then, so that doesn't mean you still don't prepare your mind for that anyway, you know. Something to pray for as well, to be ready for that, man. So, yeah, man. I'm going to off with um, second edge straight to the point, second edge is 2 and 47. So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the most high. Whom they have confessed in the world. <laughs> then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Alright. So, you know, continue to stand stiffly for the name of Bashma Shai. Doing his proving grounds, man. Alright. And stay strong in the Lord, man. Prove to the Lord that hey, we are we are of his family, man. We prove that through our works and so forth, man, our faith. Alright, so shalom to the elect.